Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Leading man Joey Graziadi should be the primary priority for the producers of Bachelor season 28, but they have repeatedly shown that they do not have his best interests in mind. Joey, a professional tennis player from Collegeville, Pennsylvania, is 28 years old, and he began his career as Charity Lawson's bachelorette season runner-up. Despite their romantic feelings for one another, Joey was devastated when Charity ended their relationship to become engaged to Dotano Lubico. But subsequently, Joey gladly agreed to take the lead on The Bachelor, allowing him to carry on with his search for his soulmate. Joey has had close relationships with a number of ladies over the Bachelor season 28, including Daisy Kent, Jen Tran, Lexi Young, Rachel Nance, Kelsey Toussaint, and Maria Jorgas. But there has also been a lot of turmoil between the women, which has detracted from the romantic tales. The producers bear some of the blame, having demonstrated their lack of concern for Joey. Previews for The Bachelor season 28 have been teasing a scene from the finale when Joey is shown standing on the platform where The Bachelor usually pops the question, looking shocked and in tears. It is evident that the producers don't care about Joey because they have made this the season's most anticipated moment. Gaining high ratings by leaving viewers wondering how the season, which they have been hinting at, will conclude is their top aim. It's been the same during charity season, exploiting Joey's emotions. Producers of The Bachelor wouldn't compel Joey and the women to go on awkward group dates if they actually cared about Joey finding love and spending time with the women. The silly and awkward activities prevent Joey from truly getting to know the women. Even Joey finds herself running out of time to talk to everyone. The dates seem to be intended for people to laugh at rather than with the women. Take the bachelor wedding group date, where the women had to dress like brides and pretend to be at a wedding reception with nine brides married to Joey, or the group date in Malta, where they had to catch sausages in their mouths. Furthermore, Joey dressed provocatively for the group date in Malta, making him seem more like a piece of meat than one of the women's potential husbands. Drama between Sidney Gordon and Maria broke out during season 28 of The Bachelor after Sydney overheard Maria discussing Medina Alam's worries about being among the oldest candidates on the show at 31. Sydney mistakenly believed that Maria was disparaging Medina, but in reality, Maria was stating that Medina needed to accept her age given her exceptional beauty. Despite the fact that Medina and Maria were able to work things out in the end, Sydney was determined to portray Maria as a bully and a mean girl, even though Maria was none of those things. Sydney's response was so dramatic that it seemed as though she might be a production plant, brought onto the show just to maintain and create drama. Following Sydney's departure from the two on one date with Joey, her friend Lee KNN resumed her pursuit of Maria. Everything seems highly staged especially because none of the things Sydney and Lee have accused Maria of doing are ever shown on screen. Joey has been treated unfairly, if it is true that the producers planted contestants to create tension among the women. The main character on The Bachelor is there to find love, not to mediate disputes between the women. The romantic aspect of the film is dragged down by the drama, despite years of fan feedback to the producers to the contrary. Before Joey sent Sydney home, viewers got to see more of her than many of the other ladies who might end up as his future bride. Furthermore, it is tiresome to watch the battles that appear to be scripted, which indicates that the producers don't care about Joey and would much prefer see the women fight. Rival contestants are frequently made to go on the same date with a lead during a two-on-one date on The Bachelor. Then he has the option of sending one or both of the women home or keeping both of them. 
Naturally, Sydney and Maria were picked for the one-on-one -on -one date during Joey's season. Joey didn't seem like a man dating the two quarreling teenagers during the date. Instead, he gave off the impression of an adult attempting to mediate their disagreements. Sydney was the primary enemy, but the date made Maria feel like she had to stand up for herself through all the small-time turmoil. When the bachelor sends one of the women home before the other, it's always embarrassing. This date would never have taken place if the producers had been genuinely concerned about Joey finding his bride. Allowing Everybody Joey to see some of the interactions with the women in the house would be a straightforward way for the producers of The Bachelor to diffuse the tension. They wouldn't have left Joey wondering if Sidney or Maria was telling the truth if they truly cared about him. Rather, they would just let him know what was actually going on. He is entitled to know the whole truth about what is going on. The producers of The Bachelor wouldn't mentally abuse Joey. By making him mistrust women, he's developing close relationships with if they were honest in their objectives. The Bachelor ought to be permitted to watch the videos occasionally, as everything is recorded on camera. Although some could contend that doing so would compromise the show's legitimacy, in reality, it would have the opposite effect and help The Bachelor make well-informed choices on something as significant as his future wife. Joey was abused by the producers of The Bachelor season 28, especially when they introduced him to sisters Allison and Lauren Hollinger without telling him they were related. It was an extremely awkward position, even though on premiere night, Allison and Lauren told him they were sisters, and Joey even acknowledged that he was starting to get it. When Joey decided to cast sisters for his season, there was zero consideration for her. The creators used it all as a ruse to entice viewers to tune in and watch what would happen. With 32 women, The Bachelor season 28 started off with the same number of competitors as the first ever, tying with Matt James's season. But because to the COVID-19 epidemic, Matt's season was unable to film at the Bachelor house, thus the producers designated Joey's season as the one with the highest number of contestants to check into the house. While this distinction may sound exciting, in reality, it just served to put Joey in a precarious scenario where she was unable to even meet with some of the women prior to the first rose ceremony. The producers downplayed Joey's earnest quest for his wife in an effort to expand the season. In his book, For the Right Reasons, former bachelor Sean Lowe disclosed that the producers decide the order the leave gives roses to the women. The obvious picks get roses first, and the dubious ones are left to worry about whether they'll be selected. Since the competitors who often have the most drama, like Sydney, Lee, and Jess Edwards, receive their roses last, this also heightens the suspense for the audience. While this makes sense because The Bachelor is a television program, denying Joey the ability to make decisions casts doubt on the entire program. What additional strings might the producers be tugging behind the scenes if they have influence over the roses' order? Joey would be in total control of every circumstance if the program genuinely cared about his best interests. The lead and competitors on The Bachelor are kept completely isolated from the outside world, with the exception of people they date. This is one of the show's most peculiar elements. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.